Okay, now we are on to the GBU-12. So, we're going to do it just the same as we did with the uh, uh, with the GBU-38. So we're going to go to stations 4 and 8 this time instead. However, we need to do a little bit of profile editing first. So we're going to click, once we've got them selected, we're going to click profile here. And you can see the profile and all the settings of the GBU-12. The method we're going to use is going to be a um, the method we're going to use is going to be a self-lasing method, so and it'll auto-laze for us, so we don't need to worry about that. So we click change or set, and we see that we have laze time and auto-laze. So if we click auto-laze here, uh, so the auto-laze is now on, we type in 1.5 into our HUD, and then we can click laze time. Uh, if you get a s if you type something in wrong uh, on on here, uh, say uh, you do this, you get a CICU input error. Don't worry about that. You can literally just click this button and it'll clear it, and then you can carry on doing what you want. Okay, so now we've now we've inputted that. Uh, so we've got 15 second lays time. So we need to be at least uh, high enough for the bomb to fall for 15 seconds. We click save. And now that'll be because we had both GBU 12s selected. That'll be assigned to both sides. So now we need something to laze for us. So we'll first switch to CR, uh, CR, CCRP here, and we can see we have uh, an asthma steering line. We switch to CCRP using M to cycle through the different modes. We're going to find our target here using the uh, targeting pod like we did for the GBU 38 version and we're going to zoom in like we did exactly the same and put it into area uh, point mode with left control up and then we are going to set the sensor point of interest or SPI with left control up long so we hold it for about a second there and that should now set it so now you can see the uh, display in front of us we're just going to disengage the autopilot here the display in front of us shows a reticule, a circular reticule here, and a line above it. So what we need to do is keep this dot on the asthma steering line, and keep this line vertical. This will give us the perfect bomb trajectory. Okay, so so we fly this until we're, until the bomb's ready to release, and you see a number ab up here gives us a time till release. So when it gets to 10 seconds, we hold the weapons release button. So you can see it's 11, 10, so now we hold the weapons release button. And after si uh, and you see it slides down, and when it slides through here, it will release itself and it will flash to represent that it's released. And after, 16, uh, after 15 seconds, it will laze, so it's already lasing. and it should hopefully splash the target. There we go. Perfect. And that's more accurate than the GPS guided bomb. Thank you for watching, and I hope that informed you on how to use the GBU-38 and GBU-12.